welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making bruschetta and with um, tomatoes in abundance right now this is the perfect side dish to any meal or the start to any meal okay so in a pan you're going to take three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil now you don't need to make as much as the recipe says if it's just you or whatever scale it back it doesn't matter this is all to your taste anyways okay so we're just going to bring this up to a, just a light heat we don't want to burn it we just want to get that oil hot we're going to throw our garlic in and we're going to take it off the heat and let it sit for a couple of minutes to infuse the garlic into the oil so i'm just heating up my oil right now and once it gets warm i'll put my garlic in all right so into this pan it does not take long for that oil to heat up it's very little oil i'm going to add three chopped garlic cloves pretty finely chopped now just add it to that and take it right off the heat we don't want to burn that garlic okay then pour it right into a bowl to cool you don't want to burn that garlic just let it infuse okay now let me just move my stuff over all right so we're going to move on to the actual um, tomato of this so you can use plum tomatoes which work excellent because plum tomatoes don't have as many seeds or as much juice but I don't have those today I have tomatoes from the farms market and from my garden I just have some cherry tomatoes um, and I'm just going to kind of chop up what I think I need for our family there's going to be about three of us eating it so I'm kind of just eyeballing what we need but I will give you the recipe and you scale it to what you need okay so in a bowl you're going to get a quarter cup of they call for red onion purple onion I didn't have any but I had the sweet onion from the farmers market so I did that and then they call for three or four large beef steak tomatoes diced and you want to make sure that the seeds are out of the tomato so I kind of just squeezed it and then I let it just sit here for a couple of minutes and then you're just going to take your tomato and cut the stem out and then you're going to chop this really small and see once you take those seeds out like I still have seeds here I'm just gonna take mine out it's no big deal you just don't want want it to be so wet okay just like that and we're just gonna cut this into really small pieces and we're gonna add it to our onion all right once you get your tomatoes all cut and your onion all cut you're gonna get some fresh basil and you're going to wash it and dry it between paper towels and then what you're going to do is you're going to stack it in a pile you need a quarter cup or less or more however much you're making and you're going to hold it all together and you're going to roll it into itself this is called chiffonade so then what you do is you just take your knife and you cut really thin pieces just like this put as much or as little as you want in you should have to have it though and it has to be fresh this whole dish is just full of freshness okay so I'm gonna finish cutting these and then we'll continue all right so at this point we're going to add our cooled garlic um, oil put it all over put it on top of your mixture we're going to add let me see here I want to make sure your measurements are right um, one teaspoon of salt I'm just gonna eyeball it you always want a, a good amount of salt on your tomatoes it always tastes better a half a teaspoon of black pepper okay and then you're going to add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar or balsamic glaze I have glaze I'm going to use today I just think it's going to coat it better than the um, the vinegar is a little bit looser than the glaze so use what you want I love this stuff you guys it's so good I got it at Trader Joe's but I think you can pretty much find it anywhere okay now we're just going to mix this really well and we're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes to get the um, flavors to melt together and then we'll come back and we'll do our bread 
All right, now you're going to heat your oven on broil, okay? Maybe two or three shelves down, however close you want it. You're gonna get a French bread and you're gonna cut it on an angle, okay? So kind of like this. You don't want it too, too thick. I'm not gonna use the first slice. You don't want it too thick, just thick enough to hold the um, tomato. You're gonna set it on a foil lined tray. You're gonna take your olive oil and you're gonna brush this side just lightly with some olive oil. And then you're gonna put it under the broiler and you're gonna let it just go till it's light golden brown. Watch it close, it will burn quickly. Once this side is done, you're gonna take it out, flip it and do the same thing, okay? All right, once your bread's done, you're gonna put it on a plate and you're just gonna put some of your tomato mixture on top and it's ready to serve. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.